Alright. I hope the sound is coming through. All fine. And hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode, a first episode of our Genshin Impact series. We will see how long this will last. Hopefully very, very long and we will all enjoy together. Um, I am... I guess I am a, a hobby streamer, barely known for some strategy games playing Gacha in general and also some other tactical games as well. And uh, I've been playing Genshin Impact basically since release, uh, just as a personal game to play. And I've decided now that it may be time to share a little bit with everyone how far I've come, uh, what I've achieved and where are we going with this account in particular. So. Uh, my name is Bakuria, so everyone who is joining or watching this for the first time, welcome. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to my account. And my account would in this case be a little bit special, uh, since I usually put a lot of efforts into, game, into games uh, that are just releasing and that I'm interested into. And in this particular case, <laughs> I have re-rolled this account many, many times. Uh, in the first week of the game, I did not start right away, uh, like selecting one account and moving forward. Because even through my very little and limited understanding of the game, uh, my prediction was that Venti was going to be a key piece of any sort of team that I would enjoy playing later on. And that's why I basically re-rolled the account until level 7, I believe it was. Yes. Uh, the speedrun method presented in some uh, other streamers' uh, positions, where basically you got an account up to uh, AR7, you used all your wishes on current summons, and then you saw what you got. This particular account, which was the one I decided to keep, uh, on the first roll of the Venti banner back then, got a Venti. And I can tell you it took me like 26? re-rolled accounts until I was satisfied, so it was no easy feat. Uh, that's also why maybe, compared to others, I'm a little bit behind the curve. I am only a R49, I've been playing daily uh, to its maximum extent, so uh, I've really been putting all the love and effort I could, and yet I am still to hit AR50. Uh, Additionally, I am, I guess it's not a full free-to-play player, this is what is known as a Plankton player, basically someone who pays the VIP passes. I have the Welking Moon activated. What is it here? Yeah, so I have the Blessing of the Welking Moon. I did not even start with this, so like two, three, four weeks until I bought the first Welking Moon. Uh, and I've also bought the first two Battle Passes Gnostic Access. So I guess you could say I've spent around 30, yeah, actually 30 euros in the game. Uh, but again, compared to any, uh, you know what, I guess this is proof enough. Compared to any other whale account, I have not yet even purchased one single bonus crystal. This has all been uh, devoted to <clears throat> playing the game as it is meant to be, I guess, from this side, uh, through Welking and through the Gnostic game. Additionally, I've basically used up all of my summons. Uh, I had a plan, the plan didn't backfire, it also didn't reach the goal. Um, what happened is... The more I learned about Xing Yan, uh, the more I thought this is the character that I want uh, to stack on. And I'll show you soon where I got, and sadly it is... One too short. Like uh, Ching Yan C2, in my opinion, is going to be absolutely worth it, no matter what, no matter what, no matter when. I went all in on this. I literally spent all the crystals I had saved up, uh, since I actually I was saving for Ayaka, and we know that Ayaka is not coming for the next two months, I guess. Uh, so I thought it was safe to do this this bet. Uh, and it has been like a hundred summons that I still have not seen, seen another copy of Xing Yan. And that has been devastating, so brutal. Uh, I do of course have a Zhongli to show for this. Uh, and what's even saddest is I have one constellation of Zhongli. So at this point for me, uh, Zhongli and Xing Yan have an equal rarity. I cannot explain the sadness I have for this, but sadness nonetheless. Alright, so you know now uh, how far I've come, what I'm trying to do. Uh, I guess you now see my birthday as well. 
and additionally the AR-49, let me show you how far I've come with my characters. Uh, wait, before we go there, uh, I am basically through with all the quests, story quests, uh, intro quests, side quests, whatever you name it, quests. They are all done, which is why we're basically up to date with the content, including farming every day, all of the all of the uh, tiny events that show up, including the dish delivery thing. It has been uh, eloquent, fun, a delivery thing. It's it's cute. Please give me one minute before we go into the characters. Okay, then I'll click here and then here. I would like to post here. Please give me a second. And where is Genjin here? There we go. Additionally, I am from Europe. That means that normally this will be working hours, but I have a day off today, and that makes me very happy and uh, enables me to enjoy my hobbies even throughout the week. So here we are, trying to show off our account so far. Into characters. Uh, the main team I've developed so far has been counting on Razor as the main DPS, with the support of Venti at all times. Uh, Venti has been the first character to hit Friendship 10 because basically he has not left my party since the game start, right? So since AR7, I guess you could say, when I rolled for him. Uh, that means Venti has currently all of my uh, desired equipments, he has all the gears, all the weapon that I could get for him, and I guess the level could go up to 80, but I haven't done that yet. Books are a very scarce resource in this game, so I'm paying attention to that. So, the main team was, or at least used to be, Razor, Barbara as a healer, free healer, now we have multiple copies of her, that's amazing. Uh, Venti, and in this place was uh, Xiang Ling, actually, before Xin Yan even released, since uh, Fire Trigger together with Razor was doing a great, uh, great job for me, and also she offers uh, the tiny Gooba extra damage, which was great uh, all along for her. Uh, and, and for anyone who would pick it up. So, my team used to be Razor, Barbara, Xing Yan, Venti. Once obtaining Xing Yan, uh, no, sorry, Xiang Ling, oh my god, these names. Once obtaining Xing Yan, I've decided to move over. This was the character I was uh, waiting for. She covers way too many of the bases that this game needs. She has fire, she has a shield, and she has a claymore element, so it's ridiculous how good uh, she is. It covers everything else in exploration that Venti cannot offer. Mining, uh, shielding, she shields from fire, which is usually the most annoying uh, element to deal with, uh, especially with uh, Abyss Mages that are fire. So all in all, I thought Ching Yan was going to be uh, the beast that she is. And if you are uh, lucky, luckier than me, I guess, and you got to uh, obtain her second copy, so the third copy, I guess, um, this is where she would shine the most. You'll be able to on demand get a level 3 shield and that will be so OP. So this is what I've been doing so far and then uh, I also had a plan of rolling up to 30 tickets I think it was per banner where I was somewhat interested in the characters and I got lucky enough to find a child. Uh, no copies though. So I thought you know what I need a backup DPS. I've been using Kea all of this time uh, since, again, unluckily I got a 5 star sword out of nowhere rather than a useful character. Another mistake that I regretted, but I guess I'll try to put it to good use. Uh, so Child is currently being raised as my second DPS, uh, whereas Kea currently is my second DPS. Xian Ling has been devoted more to support, so she was not able to go into a DPS role. Noel is actually my second healer. I was not lucky enough to get a Diona or uh, a Chichi, of course. So I guess that will have to wait until someone else shows up. Um, I've been trying to raise Noel so far to the point of being useful because usually I only need her for the Abyss. And I gotta say, she's surprisingly good. So uh, it's not that I want to really, really invest into her, but for sure she'll be my second healer until uh, further notice. 
So, let's go again from the beginning. We included Xin Yan. We started, uh, we started adding power onto a child who is almost done. I think this is the last thing he needs. And one level in the talent. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Kaya has been put on hold because uh, he's still being used as a main DPS, but uh, secondary main DPS, but I want that role to be taken over. Tian Ling, purely support role, almost never attacks, and when she attacks it's just to trigger this uh, uh, Halberd uh, trigger effect. And her set has been changed into the fire set so that uh, more damage can be put out with uh, Guga. Noel as the healer has the correct uh, artifact sets to heal more and the shield for, for it to last longer. Uh, the weapon is just a leftover weapon from Razor. So I'm guessing if I get more uh, craftable sources, I'll be able to use that. Uh, Sucrose, super super good support when Venti is not available, if you have to split your team in two. Uh, she really makes the damage amplify. I, I'm not really keen on uh, one-shot, big-shot bosses, right? So like I've seen multiple accounts grabbing Bennett, grabbing Sucrose, grabbing Mona, if they had it, uh, I don't. And then the one character who they show having this one ridiculous mega shot, like, I don't know, 250,000 damage or something like this. Uh, that's not really my style. I, I like big numbers just as much as everyone, but consistent DPS for me uh, is in this particular game closer to uh, always being able to hit rather than the one big shot that you prepare 10 hours for. So for me, a Venti Heroic, uh, Ultimate, what's it called, Elemental Burst right now, uh, is way more effective in dealing with literally everything. Hey Rupert, how are you doing? Okay, pet. <laughs> I wish I could see those. Um, so for me, a Venti uh, Burst is way more effective than 99% of everyone else's uh, skills, simply because uh, it, it is basically a perma stun on anything that is not a large monster. Uh, and that, that's just invaluable. Coupled together with uh, the Pyro element from Xingyan, then you turn into a Fire Vortex that Razor can take mild advantage for, but uh, Child is just gonna destroy everything as well. Good to hear, Rupert. Um, uh, have you been playing Genshin Impact? That's the question. Alright, so, uh, then we have up to Sucrose. Sucrose has no copies, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I just have one of her. Uh, I recently got a Chongyun. Chongyun is a very, very good uh, elemental support as well. So while Sucrose makes sure to amplify damage, uh, Chongyun is needed for more elemental interactions to happen. So I'm hoping to use Chongyun to replace uh, Xianling in some occasions for Team B, so to speak. Uh, Team B would have also Razor. You have a whale team in Genshin, but just AR-37. Oh, wow. There's, there's much more to, to exploit there then. Uh, I've been enjoying following a lot of people and watching them build their teams. I, I think what I've obtained so far works for me, and I hope that everyone can enjoy further. Uh, so, Chongyun will be a project to work on eventually. It's uh, still a long way to go. Uh, but since I'm about to reach AR-90, uh, AR-50, the maxes out are going to start happening soon, and that means we'll be able to spend some time on other characters. Uh, I'm a li little bit impressed, or surprised rather, that it is so hard to level up um, talents past 6. I thought this would go a little bit higher, like there are 6 more levels here behind these talents. That's, that's a little bit too much. Uh, so because of how math works and because of my knowledge of uh, Langriser, I decided I am not spending any single uh, golden drop on any talent that is of a 4 star. I know that 4 stars are ridiculously strong in this game, but I don't know, 2 weeks, 4 weeks, who knows, 2 months from now, there will be a new four star uh, 5 star character, and if I am lucky enough to get him, her, uh, and I see that uh, they use the same golden artifact thing, then I would regret having spent it on a 4 star that is eventually left behind uh, due to the sheer uh, stats that uh, 5 stars have on top of them. He is not one of those, so we ignore him entirely. Uh, but for Tataglia, for example, I've been saving up all of this and when I decide to put him as the main DPS, 
I'm probably gonna be upgrading this one or maybe obliteration. Uh, but I have saved up all of these tiny artifacts, which I think right now cannot be used on anyone else. Uh, but in any case, I thought this is where I want to spend them. So, where are we? Uh, I have a beautiful Excel. Do I want to somehow show this Excel? Let me see. So I'm gonna do this. Did that work? Yeah, where is it now? There we go! So I've been working basically on an Excel also to keep track of everything that I want to improve, that I have improved and that I've been working on so far. I absolutely recommend to anyone that uh, they work on something similar. Basically what I'm doing here is I write down when is their talent farmable, when is their current weapon farmable in terms of uh, Dungeons. Hey, Soda, how are you doing? <laughs> Lessons learned from Langi, sir. Uh, there was one lesson that I that I had to relearn apparently, and I will share that soon. But uh, that was a costly lesson that I learned. Um, I wrote down the bosses, even though this is kind of obvious. And then uh, I had uh, like a two-dimension set up for the gear for the artifacts. The first one is what type of set bonuses do I want? Uh, Wanderer, Maiden, Noblesse, you can all imagine what I'm writing here. Even if it's a combination, like 2-2 two, two is, is a common enchantment also in Langrisser. Uh, sometimes you go for the bonus stats rather than the bonus uh, super effect. Uh, and then additionally, there's another layer here per piece of gear where I say, if it's a piece that has the correct stat, it is just okay. If it's a piece that has the correct stat and two good uh, substats, it's good. Three, very good. Four, god roll. Like, the, there's only one thing right now. Xingyan, let me see. What was it? This. Um, what do we say? The plume. Right, so you look at the plume for Xingyan, right? Remember this specifically. And defense, amazing. Defense, amazing. Energy recharge, amazing. Elemental mastery, amazing. Like, all of these things. These are the four things that I want on Xingyan. I don't want crit on her, on her, I don't want HP on her. All she has to do is punch really hard one time and then get out of her. Because that's all she's gonna do. And the reason why Elemental Mastery is good is because uh, her shield will be waving out fire. And you may not always be the one triggering uh, after fire. So fire may be the one triggering that uses uh, her stats in that case. So having Elemental Mastery, it works. All right, so we go back to this Excel and I show this. Additionally, uh, if I still have not gotten a thing, I write down which main stat I would want on such a piece. So at any point where I find myself with stamina, I say, okay, uh, my main DPS child is trying to use Wanderer, so I need a circlet of Wanderer as well that has critical chance, that would be amazing. Okay, then we go to a boss and we fight it and we get nothing because this is sadness, but at least I know exactly what I'm missing and exactly what to farm next. The other layer, the second layer that I'm doing here is, or the third layer in this case, is whenever I have upgraded any artifact to 20, I paint it in green. The same goes here. If I upgraded a weapon to my maximum right now, it painted in green, then I can absolutely ignore this for now. When I reach AR50, it means I will have to redo everything, or actually repaint everything in green, uh, sorry, in, in no color, because uh, most talents and most weapons can be upgraded further, and the levels, so I guess this one as well. Uh, but for now, I've, just, I've exercised something that I call the it's good enough thing, where I still upgrade to 20 stuff that is just good or very good as well, uh, because First of all, waiting for a god roll is just not gonna happen, right? So if, if you can only equip god rolls on your people, you will be farming forever and you will be enjoying an underpowered team until you finally get that one piece. And maybe that's not even good because as you level it up, it doesn't go to the stats that you go. And the second thing I tested is once you have a level 20 artifact of five stars, which means please, please hear me when I say I will avoid using four star artifacts anytime I can. Um, when you have a, a 25 star and you find an upgrade, you put the previous one there and it takes it all the way to level 18, right? So from zero, you take, you, you basically lose two of the last levels uh, when upgrading 
uh, a five star level zero piece with a five star level 20 piece so when you are talking about replacements you can just throw that in if you're lucky enough to get up times two or times eight uh, times five sorry times eight uh, then it basically becomes the new level 20 right so there's n absolutely no loss there uh, and because usually farming for these gives you a lot of fodder it's very easy to just take over to to the upgraded piece uh, I believe I have only one ridiculous... Ah, I wonder what it is. I think Razor may have it. I don't know. But I have like one ridiculously well enhanced or enchanted weapon or uh, artifact, I'm sorry. Which may be this. I No, I cannot even remember. But there's a piece where, for example, I, I rolled critical rate on every single upgrade and I'm like, yeah, okay, that that's never gonna happen again. So my recommendation is don't wait for the perfect piece. Upgrading artifacts is ridiculously strong, so uh, this is my personal recommendation. Other people may not see it like this. This, to me, is way more important than uh, the last 10 levels, for example. Like, this 10 levels that you unlock. This is so irrelevant compared to what the, what the pieces can do. Also, farming books through ley lines is the worst farm possible in investment. First of all, because we get books everywhere, so patience then leads to better management of resource. Uh, and second, because the rate that you get is way worse, which is actually something that we all learn retroactively, surprising of the first event, the one with the elemental things. <sighs> the rate of books in that event versus stamina was ideal, so we should have farmed that more. But, you know, everyone is very smart in hindsight. Uh, actually, Lemon, Lemon called this out correctly, e even in the Discord chat. That I'm part of. So he was very smart about that. Other characters that I have that I'm not working on, but maybe one day, who knows? <sighs> Bidu, Fischl, Ningguang. Ningguang, I actually have the most interest out of all of my non used characters so far. Uh, Zhongli, who will stay, <laughs> stay there forever, I guess. Uh, Amber, Bennett, who I know is ridiculously amazing, but. I have this problem where everyone is using Bennett, so for me he is Landius right now, and I hate Landius. E even worse, he's Listel, right? So everyone uses Listel. Listel is the meta. Everyone should. I'm like, oh, I I know if if he has uh, actually I think I even put the right artifact. If he has Noblesse Oblige, then the attack that you increase for everyone by using his Q is just seven million, and then you destroy everything in one shot. Yes, I know, but I'm pretty sure I will find other ways to make my teams work, so I decided to be a stubborn person and used uh, other people instead. Uh, Shibirin Asai, Lisa, sorry, Lisa, was uh, partially a character I was using in the early levels until I got more people, so she's halfway leveled as well. Alright, so all in all, this is my account, and I would like to, to try to do something in order to show off my current power level. Uh, I am usually very strict on trying to push for my maximum attainable rank in something that is resettable. In this case, it will be uh, the Abyssal Corridor. In Langrisser, you could say the equivalent would be the uh, Timeless Trials. Yeah, is that correct? Yes, Timeless Trials is correct. Uh, so, if there is something that resets every two weeks, every week, whatever, it is... The, in the best interest of the account that you push for it as hard as you can as much as you can like behind these chests every time there is 50 primo gems in i c could this one time like this is the first time where i got all nine in floor nine but always i aim for six and so far i've been able to manage the f the three floors you see here level 12 i leave there because the monsters here are like what was it level 105 something ridiculous like this but who knows, maybe this uh, end of the year, two weeks remaining, because we have two weeks remaining, uh, maybe this time will be when I get 12, uh, level 12 done. But hey, it is time now to look into floor 11. Let's do a tiny demo of our account and my skill. I hope not to disappoint too much. Let us see, what did I use this time? Oh my god, is this correct? Well, I'm gonna trust what I wrote two weeks ago, so... <laughs> It is Chong Yun, Barbara, Xiang Ling, and Venti. What team did I make here? I'm pretty sure past me remembers why I did this, but I don't. Uh, Razor, Noel, Xingyan, and Kea. 
I have. Well, I have no recollection of what I did here, but here we go again. Ah. So, uh, Abyssal Corridor, I think a lot of people will find a lot of better resources to explain what it does uh, anywhere else in the internet. However, I'll do a small explanation. You are offered uh, three times two challenges, uh, and every time, every two challenges, so per floor, you are offered an upgrade. You can choose a permanent upgrade that comes with you through floors, or a temporary upgrade that is lost in this chamber. Usually the first two you are bound to pick a floor effective thing because the third chamber is usually the most demanding one. Uh, and on the third chamber if you find something that is useful just for that chamber, you know, this the last one, then basically any of the any of the three bonuses is doable. I have no recollection of what we fight here, so we'll see. For now, character physical damage increase. What was it? Yeah, okay, that made no sense, but I guess I can break. Okay, I think I remember now. I may try this a little, a little over and over, let's call it like that, until I get it right. Right, this is the floor where overcharge, uh, no, no, what's it called? Superconduct is super effective. So, indeed, that's the reason why we're bringing Sean Yu. Uh, even though he is not leveled, uh, triggering superconduct is just good enough in this level. We go for Kuba. We try to stay outside because the mutant slimes uh, tend to deal a billion damage. Hey, David. Oh my god, I'm dying. Don't check chat. Gacha Girl has infected another building. No. I, actually, it's funny because most of my teams are male based, so I guess has bandos. Let's break the shield, we need Xing Yan for that. Then Venti. And then we try to kill it. So, uh, when reaching these points, uh, normally the timer would be super important. What am I doing? Trying to explain and play at the same time is as hard as I remembered. When reaching the higher levels, uh, you're not too worried about the timer because most of what you care about are the prices and you can never reach uh, 9 stars unless you're dominating the field. So uh, I put this sub part team because I remember the right, uh, sorry, the second half being way harder for me than the left. Okay, so let's see if we can do this fast. Because there's still another team after this. Usually all of this uh, all of these floors and chambers require multiple tries for me until I get better at it. Until I make my teams also better. Uh, but so far I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I say why not? Let's trigger some stuff there. So I know that in general a lot of people dislike Venti because uh, his Q takes people outside of reach. Um, but for me that's not really a problem, because I know that Venti is by himself dealing way more damage uh, by having the ultimate present than uh, what having been able to punch people in the ground would make us a difference. I don't remember what shows up here, here we go. Assisting mage and two archers, okay, got it. So actually I had to go the other way. <laughs> Okay, kill. Right, I remember now. I used to have all the shields on all the time. So give shields. Kill the person. So because Noel is not such a good healer for me, uh, I try to avoid damage as best as I can. He says while getting damage. Uh, by keeping shields up. Shields are very, very good in this case. Alright, I remember. This is the floor where the five people show up after this. Yeah, that was super annoying. Okay. Razor transforms, starts punching people. Very angry. I should have kept a shield on, but whatever. Put the shield on. 
go to this mage. I know that this doesn't quite work. But the idea is just to get enough for two stars in this level and I think what I need the most is to kill people. So I tried to break the shield, it didn't work. I'm gonna go for the Q here in order to avoid damage. Oh my god. My Razor got super hurt. Okay, there we go. Okay, took the damage. Now I can do this. So I prefer to let him regain the shield because I already know that I'm not gonna get uh, 3 stars. Uh, my plan here is to try to heal everyone and still finish for enough for 2 stars. That should be very doable. Okay, get this done. Quick Q moment. See, that's, that's where the second copy of Xingyang would be absolutely amazing. Some heals. <laughs> okay, now we don't let him get up. Oof, nice dodge. What is Noel's cooldown? Good. Let's do some healing with Noel. And then we get the kill. Two stars, as expected. Here we go. <clears throat> All I need to get is uh, six stars total. So as long as we stay two stars, two stars. Actually, this floor I usually aim for uh, three stars. It's a bit easier to do it. So if we can get this done, then there will be no problem. Uh, what was it in this case? There are slimes and uh, an archer behind me. Ah, no, no, no. This is the yes. This is the guy, the group with the people who throw stuff. I guess I'm gonna take already some damage there. Okay, that's already not good. Oh wait, it got pulled. So good. It got pulled by the Heroic from Venti. So in this one you don't particularly have a timer, which means you can take all the time that you need. As long as you're distracting the monsters, uh, they won't be attacking the main thingy. And that's what you care about the most. So here we go. Fire has been made. That's good enough. And then we do whatever we can or whatever we need in order to distract these people. Those are the two that you want to keep busy. All the melee people always go to you, so that's not a problem. And then when you're ready, you go here, Q again, and everyone is set up. Let's heal our people up. As long as Venti's Q is going, then no damage is being taken by the, by the main thing. I wanted to try to avoid that, but I couldn't. And here we go again. Still, I have already taken way more damage than I would have wanted on this. Quite the shame, but whatever. No, illegal. Damn it. Sometimes these monsters just don't stop and they punch it many times. There we go. Now he's looking at me. Now he's no longer looking at me. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, there we go. So now I've pulled them away. And that means I have all the time in the world to heal myself. And to kill them, of course. We're gonna focus on the axe guy because he can at any point choose to do a jumping attack on the other enemy. 
or the Whirlwind attack, which is ridiculously bad for trying to keep the health of the thing up. Use any destruction methods we can. Oh. Oh. Any damage you take is actually perfectly fine, since of course uh, we have all the time in the world, that means we can heal, we can do whatever. That's pretty good. Freeze. Break freeze. Dodge the attack. Alright, everyone is fully healed. And we charge even some heroics for next time. Okay, in this one there are two slimes spawning in the front, one archer in the back, and then an axe guy that does not really want to listen. Hey Berto, how are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna be killing the the archer in the back as fast as I can. Uh, the slimes always come to you, the axeman does whatever he wants, just like always. Ah, come on! Okay. Now we focus all we have on this. Come to me, come to me. Oh no. Okay, that's good enough. Always putting a body between us and the slimes because we don't want to get uh, the lightning effect on us. Start with the Q, then go for the air, then go for the fire. So you can see uh, when she has the Q, if you have one copy, I believe. Can we lure her? Yes, good. When you have one copy of Noel, uh, when the Q is activated, then Breastplate heals every time. So that's why we do Q, then A, then heal. If not, her heal is only 53% chance per hit. That's why charge attacks are the best, because you get multiple hits, more chances, better healing. Okay. Um, before we go on, what was the second half of this? I think it's actually two... Two Minotaurs, right? Okay. Let's see if we can distract the axe guy. Yes, that's that's exactly it. And the archers are annoying too. Okay, I don't care much about the shield guy because uh, usually he uses shield charge. And the shield charge hits, hits the main thing only once. And after that it misses. So that's... Usually. Ah, oh, come on! That's so illegal. Ah, uh, will I take it? Will I restart? I don't really want to restart. Ah, uh, let's aim for two stars. Come on. The one time I say something, the shield guy decides to be absolutely abusive. My god, everyone just goes against the thing, because of course I am on stream and must prove the stream is wrong. <laughs> okay, that we can dodge. Can you pay attention to me now, please? Okay. Is this enough to call both attention? Here, have no shield. Oh, come on. That's dangerous. Hello. We are getting visits. Oh, come on. Did that hit? Okay, if I lose the second star, I will be restarting. Or if anyone dies, of course. Oh, 
come on. They have not wanting to come to me this entire run. Okay, do we do it? Oh my... Okay, with the axe person dead, this should be a little bit easier. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. Yes, turn around. So I'm very sorry, but this is gonna take a while now because I want to heal up Razor. Don't do this to me, game. Come on, look at me. Don't do this. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, in any case, you can absolutely reset this. Uh, as long as you say leave challenge and not abandon challenge, then you'll be fine and you'll be able to continue basically from the same chamber again. This is part of pushing for progress. Uh, clearly my teams are not, not really well set up for this, but we'll keep on trying. Okay, so now we learned that it was this one. We'll do like this and then interrupt that person while keeping this one busy. Oh, did he dodge by ducking? Oh my god, that's my luck. Okay. I have almost heroic again. There we go. Damage avoided. Oh, it's hitting the shield. Okay, that was good. There we go. This is why I love Bendy. Just ridiculous amounts of damage. And then he usually almost always recharges before uh, cooldown. So you just keep on going. Okay, so let's try to prevent as much damage as we can on this. Call their attention, there we go. Pull them backwards. Get some fire swirls going. Okay, we pull them to a corner, or to the sides rather. Let's make sure we handle this axe person first. a bit broken, I absolutely think that vent is broken. 100% yes. Uh, what I hate about Venti is that he has set the bar so high that any new support like Zhongli will be basically compared against him. Uh, and they lose. Like no one can beat Venti in his ridiculousness, the only way that could happen... Wait, illegal? Johnny should be broken, yes. The only way that it could happen is that uh, somehow they make a new Venti which uh, grabs all the opponents that Venti cannot grab, like big monsters. 
which they tried to do with Zhongli, but the freeze, the petrify, is so bad in comparison that it could not stand. So what did we say again? Person in the back, uh, followed by, um, followed by the axe guy in the middle. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. To us? Ah, away from the machine. That's good. Alright. Uh, I have a C1 as well, completely full of regrets, but it's because I was going for Xingyan and I actually spent all of my resources there. A bit of a regret. By a bit, I mean a lot. Actually, I had more heal. Okay, so let's push them backwards. Let's get Razor all the way back up so I don't need to spend time healing. Is in a good position. Okay, so Axe is following us. Oh, that's not good. That is super not good. Okay. We've had enough fun. Okay, that's really good. Now we can calm down. We focus on this guy. Damn. That person ran away, right? That's okay, we really want to defeat this guy first this time. Oh my god. A, a super conduct is just so ridiculous. No, don't run against the thing, come on. Yes, come to us. Go, oh, come here. Come here. Nine, illegal. Come on. Fine, we'll get the kill. We have to take the three stars whenever we can. Yeah, he's he's uh, Geo Daddy for a reason, right? The thing is, uh, the he does too many things not good, right? So he's not the best shielder, he's not the best damage AOE, he's not the best consistent damage, and actually, so there are a billion ways to fix him. I actually would start by fixing Geo. Geo is a problem. Geo steals steals the essence of the game by removing the chance for elemental reactions. Like, obviously, Geo has his own elemental reaction, but because it's cancelling, uh, and it all it, it gives is a defensive increase, which does not even stack with shields correctly, the problem is really that a Geo reaction is unwanted. Like, you rarely want this, and it's very uncontrollable because his pillars just spam all the time. If you're preparing for a big big hit, like, uh, ah, I'm gonna do super conduct, blah, it gets cancelled by Geo. So, usually the problem lies with the Geo reactions and the Geo bonuses. Uh, and let's not even go about synergies because that's also terrible. So, we got three stars, that means only one star here would be enough to take us to floor 12 again. So, let's go! Um, weak points... Charge attack for less, that's interesting. Healing... I may even go here. I'm gonna try with this one and see what happens, but <coughs> we may regret halfway. So, what do we have to do? Go fast. Yeah. 
Okay, there's a very long... Oh my god. Chung Yung almost disappeared from that ice prison. Okay, here we go. Come on, there we go. Okay, now the person is locked doing that. We'll interrupt. One more Kazaga. Put more fire in the whirlwind. Yeah, that hurt, but it was it was okay. The ice prison is one of the most buggy and problematic uh, features in this game. Exactly like that. Uh, I don't think I can finish this without Xing Yang. Uh, without Xing Yang, I'm sorry. But we will try. As soon as this one or the next uh, enable their shield, then it's over. And I will have to restart. I'm almost sure it's over. Maybe if I keep him frozen all the game? Oh my god, the punch. Damn, he made the shield. Fair enough. Okay, so maybe Mihoyo could add some Abyss floors where survivability is the most important thing until that happens. It's like Diona and Xinyan are better in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I really think that uh, Zhongli's shield is not the problem. The problem lies with Geo. I really mean this. Like, Zhongli's shield is just a bonus, right? The idea of him is pillar 1, pillar 2, Q, shield, change. And that's good because, you know, Venti has a similar setup. A, Q, change. A, Q, change. Whatever. Uh, the point is, Zhongli does not do his job good enough, and in difference to Animo, which basically consumes every resource just like uh, uh, just like Geo, Animo grabs the resource that you put in and spreads it out, right? So Animo deals more damage by by consuming the reaction. Geo removes damage from the table by consuming the reaction. I think that is the main difference. Okay, let's just go with this. Okay, I don't know if you have heard in the meantime about a uh, Xingyan tech. Uh, Xiangling, sorry. Um, when you use Xiangling's ulti, uh, your best bet is to continue rotating the opposite way, way of the of the swirl because uh, it will get you more hits, up to 16 hits compared to the basic 11. So that's a pretty cool technique. Yes, the wind set is ridiculously better. But e even if Petra was good, like I don't know what Petra could offer that would change how how Geo just eats your reaction. Okay, this is gonna be problematic. We'll have to step away a little bit. This is the worst Fatui for me, by the way. So, fuck that shit. Okay. Right, so if you go in this direction, you will end up with more hits than you would normally. Okay, this is why we have Chong Yun here. Break the shield. I also absolutely hate um, Claymore being an element. That is ridiculous of this game and it should never have happened. 
So weak spots, is that a thing? Doesn't really count. Okay, so we start with this. We put fire element on this wind. We didn't end up with fire, that sucks. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Run away. But I recognize when you cannot deal with it. Uh, the reason why I'm standing away from this is because uh, the shield prevents me from stunning the person and as long as the shield is there, they will continue using that attack, which is ridiculous. But now things are looking good. When you see that there's a heavy punch that you cannot take, uh, swap over to one of your supports who has the most HP, in my case Barbara, tank the hit like there's nothing, and that's it. Okay, whatever. Will you make a new shield? Not yet, it seems. Alternatively, you could try to time the Q iframes to get maximum damage out of it uh, and to not take damage from the enemy. Go! Okay, shield taken. You. That's what I mean. One of these. If you get another shield for you. Maybe we can pierce through the shield. Maybe not. Well, he will die in this. Whew, how much time did we have remaining? I didn't check. Uh, also, I forgot what is in this one. Now nah, it would be fine. Right, I remember now. In this particular case, I want to kill the animal puncher faster. So we go all in on him. I really don't care about the lightning hammer person. He's usually very easy to dodge, and once you have Cryo in your team, he melts. Ah, get it? So we do this. I guess I'll put another shield. That's why not. And break him down, punch him once. We can even heal here. That took way too long. I think my, my first half took way too long actually. But yeah, now it's time for Razor to do his thing. Okay, so if we finish with three minutes, we win, right? Let's see if we can get it. I guess in this case I aim for this person first. I cannot see, I cannot see. Okay, it's over. Okay, now we got both. Oh my god, Razor. Ridiculous damage. Okay, 40 seconds. Can we do it? We'll see. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Alright. Whew. Okay, so then that was it. That was floor 11, 6 stars gotten. My account will grow more in power, so it will only get easier and easier. But for now, there are some chests to open. Some chests to open. Some chests to open. Some chests to... Some chests to open.
bother first. Hey, Tilmon, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Uh, what do I need? We have we have the thing. I could use Wanderer, Critical Chance, and Attack. An attack. Uh, so Hourglass with Attack and Circlet with Critical Chance. I think someone else wanted Gladiator. Yes, Chong Yun. Uh, Chong Yun could also use random Gladiator pieces. So. Um, here we go. Goblets can always be good. I hate flowers, I get them all the time. Come on, give some wonder. Well, it was a wonder. It was a wonder flower. No, flower we don't need. Damn it. What did we get? Uh, one, two. It's also not a duck percentage. This is not great. I guess it's fodder for someone else. Crit damage gladiator. That is actually pretty good, right? Let's double check. Uh, circlet with crit... No, crit chance is good, not crit damage. Damn it. Also, the substats are very bad. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, nothing there. What else did we have here? Physical damage bonus. Attack and crit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, that is... Ooh, that is interesting. What is Razor using again? That goblet, that is pretty good, right? It's not perfect. I think Ra Razor may be having something better. Physical damage bonus, attack percent, yeah, look at this. Crit damage, energy recharge, and some random HP. I remember, this is the piece that I meant where all the enchants did not go to HP. Like, it doesn't matter where else they went. Uh, but crit damage and attack, look at those numbers. Uh, what was the new one to compare? To do to do this gladiator compare there. So I would need to roll everything. Basically, it's the same piece. <laughs> like defense is the difference, and I would I would of course have to get energy recharge just to feel the same. But yeah, it is. It is indeed Gladiator, that is always, always good. I think I wanted to give Gladiator to Chong Yun, actually. I could swap out another piece, but is Razor using Gladiator? Oh, yeah, he is. So I have crit damage. So I could use crit chance here, right? Uh, an attack here, an attack. Any five stars physical goblet yet? Oh, how? Uh, uh, I think there was a, a pie chart that showed the the odds of each of them, and really, like the elemental, like sorry, damage bonus goblets are just rare. So it's it's basically coincidence if you get some of them. Uh, in my case, I still have not seen cryo goblets. Yeah, I have no cryo goblets. Uh, also, I have no crit chance uh, helmets, and I have no crit uh, elemental mastery helmets. They're always on the wrong piece. I hate every type by now. I, actually, Dark Chaos, what I do is usually goblet is my go-to piece offset, right? So <laughs> cryo goblet is a myth. Uh, look at look at these goblets, for example, like noblesse hydro bonus. Uh, that's a lie. Okay. I, I got this on Venti, which is absolutely ridiculous. Sure, uh, it's only attack and elemental mastery that I want here, but already this two combination is like, damn, that's lucky. This this piece was really lucky. Uh, okay, then there was this other... Viridescent is the first thing I farmed. I farmed, I don't know, 400 stamina on it easily more. <laughs> on, on the first day where I got 245, that was fun. Um... I guess this goblet is just HP. Some Barbara. Ah, yeah, I never finished Barbara. Okay. Um, this is ah defense for Xingyan, of course. And then look at this. <laughs> Mega random Geo. Pyro bonus, fine. You become useful. Pyro bonus on Noblesse Oblige. This is pretty good. Went on Bennett. Physical bonus is. Oh, look, I had another. <laughs> 
I guess physical bonus is what what I got the most. So there's one on fishy. Yeah. Um, but basically, if you get a um, goblet with anything damage, just just lock it. I even have a geo bonus. Shouldn't this be on on Ningguang though? What is it doing on this person? What do you have equipped, Ningguang? I did defense. No way, this is not Ningguang. <coughs> ah, geo damage bonus. Oh, look at this. Very good. I think Ningguang is even ready to be leveled. Damn. One day, one day. Do I have a weapon for her? Oh yeah, true. I like this one too. The Eye of Perception. I think it's purple, right? Uh, four star, I mean. Yeah, four star. Very good. Alright, everyone. I have good goblets. I have been farming like crazy. Like, I saved literally every condensed resin for artifact farming. Like, in, in my eyes, artifact farming was the most important thing uh, when 45 hit. So I saved literally every condensed resin for that. Or was it solid resin? <laughs> Whatever the name is. A burger. I saved the burgers for that. Alright. Should I go here? Your character will be bothered all the time. Okay, let's do the, let's do the job. We are here to play together, so let's do the job. The first half needs uh, fire and claymore. And it needs a fast fire, in case you want to stop the cryo. But it, it could also just have a venti. Okay. Then you need fire again. Fuck my life. Normal, normal, normal. Then uh, claymore. I think I've already said this, but I hate that claymore is an element in this game. How could they let that happen? That's so stupid. Which is basically the reason why Diluc is... Simply the best DPS. Just Claymore, best weapon, fire, best element, fine, you win. <clears throat> As just the sheer utility. Okay, so fire covers this, nothing new. Fire covers this, fire covers this, Claymore, 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 Claymore. Okay, chamber 2 doesn't matter. Now we get to the annoying part. Fire covers this, cryo is needed on the first half. Animal Boxer can be ignored. Uh, fire covers this. Cryo on the second side. Fuck man. Ah, wait, 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 wait. There is a solution. There is a solution. Um, Fatui and then Claymore we already have. Okay, good. So, Chamber 1. You want Fire, Claymore, Venti at the end and Cryo. That means for me, you... Wait. Wait, does Razor go here? That's crazy, right? Yeah, Berto, uh, I I absorbed that data out of like looking at the game's stats, uh, and I can I can absolutely agree that this seems to be in line with what I was thinking. Is there a reason why plus 16 artifacts? It's just because 16 to 20 is so expensive. I guess that must be it. Okay, um, fire, claymore, cryo, and venti. Fire, claymore, cryo, and venti. That says... Chong Yun. Barbara to heal. So cryo, cr uh, I need fire. I need Ting Yan. Yang Ling. Oh my god. This you. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down in case it's the team that works. Uh, Qian Ling. Uh, this is Chong Yun. Barbara. And the second team wants a fire, claymore, and cryo. So that tells me Razor is needed, Noel is needed, um, Kea is needed, and. 
a fire person. Ping Yan. Second team is Team Claymore. Okay, so we write this down. Razor. Am I sure this is gonna work? Because this. This the fucking mages. I think I need to swap Xingyan and Xiangling around. Xingyan, Venti, Xiangling. Actually, Xiangling, I like you in this position. And then Cryo in this position. I'm gonna write this down. Xingyan. Razor, Noel. Xiangling. And Keia. Okay, so my objective for this floor is uh, finish and three stars. That would be really, really good. Whoops. Where's the game? There's the game. Got a message. One second, please. Character attack. That's a very good first bonus. Doesn't look like enough healing. Yep, I agree. But I'll try anyway. I don't know what to expect. Here we go. This is the first time I run floor 12, by the way, so we'll see what happens. I guess that actually makes no sense and I should not do it again. Play more elements. So fucking ridiculous. Every time. Another crazy thing about Venti is heroic. Yeah, I, I can absolutely sense the difficulty. Did I miss? Oh my god, that's terrible. Another crazy thing about Venti is heroic is that uh, he eats the shots, he redirects the shots of the flowers. So just as a bonus ridiculousness, I did it again. I'm so used to pressing every with every, 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 everyone. Barbara, not really good in this map. That is for sure. I keep doing the thing. But you know what? The flowers take the hits, so I guess it's not the worst that I'm doing. So, oh my god, look at the opponents. I'll be surprised if I get to finish with any time. If I get to finish, basically. Alright, I don't think I should try this again before AR-50 though. Uh, so, for anyone that doesn't know, there is actually a hidden difference, uh, sorry, level difference damage multiplier. Uh, that is applied in the game, where if your level is below a certain number, compared to the opponent, your damage just gets reduced. I guess it's there to prevent some cra crazy people from exploiting something, but it is a choice by the developers. Uh, which means, really, um, there is basically no chance for me, especially with my lower level characters like Chongyun, who is only 50, to deal some real damage on here. So it's not that the monsters have crazy HP, uh, they have the normal multiplier for level progression, right? So they went through the right way. Um, but because of the damage multiplier, basically all of my hits deal a lot less. It's to give value to levels, that is indeed very correct. And I hate it, but yeah, it is a choice and they made it. To be fair, this game has put a lot of barriers to make sure that we don't eat the content in 10 minutes. Uh, because there is something very real about this game that is that skill matters. Yay! That's actually very good. Uh, but it also means that if you have someone ridiculously skillful who can do the entire floor without getting hit, he would be able to finish this uh, floor level 1, so to speak. And they did not want that to happen. Which I understand. 
it's it's a it's a choice and it, it has a meaning, a reason to be. Should I even continue? I feel like I should give up. But we're having fun, so whatever. You know what? I will try to finish floor one. If we get that, uh, sorry, chamber one. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh god, there are only a few enemies dead of the whole floor of the whole chamber. I mean, damn, I'm not doing great. Ooh, a really, really video. Dark Chaos, what are you sharing with us? Is it, is it someone in CN servers going crazy? Ember soloing, <laughs> yes, that makes sense. But I'm pretty sure that Ember is probably level 90. Is it a level 90 Ember? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I th I think yeah, uh, but uh, Amber Amber is an amazing character for a specific role. Like if you literally count on Amber for headshots, she does that job amazingly well. Uh, of course, if you build her for that too. Uh, what is it? The uh, Wonder set. No heals, just Amber. Yeah, but as Amber, you have you, you have your own shield, right? Which is the the found pet. Amber's skill set is very very specific. Not good for anywhere else, but in this situation, it's really built for this. Can I finish one slide, please? My God, there's st still three more enemies after this. Slime, really? Ah, they shield. Yes, that is very true. But that's where Claymore Element comes into account. And then there are no more shields. No more armor, actually, rather. I hate Claymore Element. My god. That's, that's my number one complaint about the game. I wish I could get a fire swirl, but with me using Chong Yun the way I'm using him, I'm not impressed. I'm not surprised either. Ah, that was fun. You play on mobile exclusively, that's... I'm gonna go with Brave. To be fair, uh, I, I have the game on mobile as well, and it's very playable. I'm very, very surprised. You have numerous number one complaints about the game. <laughs> I can imagine. <clears throat> uh, I have to say, I can't wait until they add a 3C skill one year into the game. So that maybe they try to fix some characters. I don't know, will they do this? Who knows. A held Q, right? Does that work? I really like Yan. I wish I had more copies of her. I spent all my resources. You know what? Maybe maybe we can do some some uh, pulls for the stream. I have gathered like four pulls. So if the stream wants, we will do it. Can I beat one side of floor 12 before the timer is up? Or before I freeze to death? The answer is very very unlikely.
Two more slimes. Fine, that's it. Oh my god, the damage. Two hits, please. There we go. Ooh, it's a water one. Good. I don't know if I can make it. Ah, uh, that made no sense. Yes, there's obviously gonna be uh, more to the characters than what we see right now. Absolutely every gacha game puts more stuff onto their characters every time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! <laughs> Wait, I did it! I did it! <laughs> ah, I did it! Ah, what an amazing gameplay! Challenge failed. <laughs> oh no, I broke it! I broke it! I broke the game! Hello! Do we have no timer now? So this is how you break the game, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so broken already. Well, I guess I have infinite time now. All I have to do is not die, which is already quite hard. Because of the ridiculous trap. My god, this level is gonna suck so much. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. This is not gonna happen. But it's very interesting that I got to break the game like that. Too little healing, absolutely. I agree entirely. And that kind of sucks because I don't know what I can build to, to help against that. Uh, I don't think Noel will be able to cut it. I don't have a... Uh, what's it called? Sacrificial Greatsword, I think. But that was fun. We got to see that uh, it was possible to break the game. Yay! <clears throat> One second. Alright, so, first of all, start working on Bennett and put aside ER artifacts, um, energy recharge artifacts. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I know it makes sense. I really didn't want to work on Bennett. He's so meta. Uh, Dark Chaos, the sample I gave, the example I gave is uh, he's basically the the Landius of the meta. He's always there. Everyone uses him. It is an amazing unit. It does everything you want. Ah, hatred of Bennett. But yeah, I I will be upgrading Bennett eventually. Uh, it, it's it's just what makes sense. For Jean? Well, first of all, I I don't have the money to whale, so we're not doing that. But we do have the gems for a few summons. So, I can do three summons stream. It really depends uh, if he's in a double pyro team. Yeah. Double pyro is another thing that I think is absolutely broken in this game. It should not exist. It should not be a thing. And yeah, Dark Chaos. I, I literally went all in trying to find the second copy of Sing Yan. And the uh, game said no. Game actually, I you know what? I can even go to the history. Game was like, you are gonna get a bell. 
a nothing, a Chongyun, a sacrificial sword, okay, I guess we have one, a razor, a nothing, Knight of Perception, another Chongyun, fucking no Xingyan so far. What is this? 10, 10 times 6, 60 summons, okay? A Chongyu, a Zhongli, because fuck my life. A Bell. Chongyun. Chongyun. Razor. Barbara and Razor. So, what is this? Uh, 100 and something summons with no Xingyan. There. It has been 130 summons until uh, since my last Xingyan. So I, I really had a plan with my gems, but it really didn't work. So 200 energy recharge is not necessary in a double pyro team, especially paired with Diluc. Okay, first I have no Diluc. Uh, uh, makes him more flexible. Yep. You can run him in non-double pirate teams. Yeah. I'm probably gonna aim for that. Uh, but it's not yet. So the question is, do we summon stream? Do we summon chat? It's not like Bennett uses any other stats. Uh, can I get... Can I get... Tiny balls anywhere else? No, these ones I don't want to pay because we are saving up for whomever comes here. And these ones we already bought them all. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. I guess we can just go. You're looking for weapon banner. Interesting. I am looking for Xingyan. So let's go. Time to Pepe Whale. Nope. Ganyu and Albedo doesn't interest me. I think Ganyu is going to be amazing. So I'm going to skip Albedo's banner entirely. Mainly because I have literally nothing. And I may roll a little bit for Ganyu. Ah, wait, that's a good question. How close am I to Pity? So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Okay, 64 pulls. <laughs> I feel like I could go for one more purple. But yeah, chat doesn't want me to summon, so we don't summon. How many days are remaining on this? Five days. 64 pulls is pretty safe, go, go, go. Okay. Well, I have three pulls, so it's not like it's gonna be a crazy surprise. Send me your energy. Nothing. You don't want to hit 75. Okay, that's the good number to know. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. And ruin. C1. Four pulls after Zhongli. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Uh, honestly, getting two copies of Zhongli is just a fucking insult at this point. I want a refund! <laughs> but, <coughs> but yeah, this is how far we got so far. Yes, I, I'm also... So I I may... I've been lucky with the soft pity raid lately. Yeah, I may go for the last purple in the banner and then stop because at this point I am 66 pulls in. That means we're very close to the soft pity. Uh, I really don't want to... I really, really don't want another zombie. Ah, but a second uh, a second copy of Xingyan would have been great. Ah, yeah. So, okay. We go here. Oh, really? Is that, is that how it goes? That sounds a little bit way too much. One in three... That sounds incorrect. Don't you mean 3% chance? 3% chance I would buy. Alright. <clears throat> in any case... There's a sheet in Reddit with rates. Oh, that's very interesting. 
And that's how it is. Someone did the math. But that means that after 65, uh, after 75, you get a pull in in three three singles. If that, does, if that was the case, we would never get to 90. But you know what? I'll trust the math other people do. So for me, 75 is now the new pity. 06 until se then it's 23 per. That's amazing. That actually is very happy news. <laughs> you can miss 33 14 times. Yeah, I guess. Okay, fine. It seems like everyone has a ton of truth. You know what? I'll trust chat. That means I only pull until the next purple and then I stop because I don't want... I don't want a random... I don't want to run a 50-50 for Zhongli again. That is for sure. I was really hoping to get any of the others. Actually, that's the lesson. Yes, I mentioned throughout the video. I started actually investing everything into the general banner because the 5 stars in this banner are ridiculously good. What I failed to realize is that you are extremely more likely um, extremely more likely to get a weapon out of the 5 star uh, pool here than a character. And from this banner, when you fail to get the character, you can only get 5 star characters. So when you see a golden, you know it's a character and there's a 50-50. It's 50-50 weapon as well here. Uh, it's interesting to know. However, I got wrecked. I got a weapon. And I stopped immediately pulling in this banner because... Sorry, I stopped immediately other than the Belgian that you get here uh, that literally have no other use. You need weapons? I guess that is true. That is true. We all need weapons. Uh, but honestly, I got a... I got a sword. Okay. Now we're going with my personal party setup problem. I got a sword on Kea that basically asks you to stay on the field after using four stars. Uh, after using uh, a Q. Your four stars are shit. Your account is still scaffold weapons. Oh damn. Um, the problem I have with this sword is as good as it is, it really is meant for you to stay in the field. Uh, and yeah, it sounds amazing on Bennett, but I wanted to refuse using Bennett for as long as I could, but apparently there won't be a chance for me and I will end up using Bennett. Alright, thank you all very much. I think as far as account introductions go, this is an insanely lengthy video, so I apologize to everyone who watched to the end. Uh, I'll take a break now and maybe we'll come back later. I have the day off still, so that's pretty good. Uh, and play some more Genshin or maybe other games, we'll see. So I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank you all very much for uh, visiting the channel and we will see you soon. Goodbye.